FNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman for the Tiger Financial News Network. Two o'clock market update. Dow's down 110 at 42,159. It's really struggling, but the nine period moving average is still strong. So we'll see by tomorrow this time whether or not the market has acted very negatively to an NVIDIA failure, where it's right now at 144.31, down 270. And now we're looking at it at 135. Or does it, it sort of sort things out and say, overall, we've got all these. Back, the backlog of orders, etc. We're doing fine, and it actually climbs to 153. That'll be a whew, wow, that'll be because the, the NVIDIA is in the Dow, the SP, the composite index, the NDX 100, the um, semiconductors, SMHs. I mean, XLK, it's in everything, so it's really important. You cannot dismiss it. So, this is what I'm looking at. So, if the, if the Dow can survive tomorrow without being down three or four hundred points because overnight was just so terrible, but actually is up even just up 80 to 100 points, not at the opening, but half an hour after the opening, that'll be a good sign. And let's just go to the S&P right now. SPX is down uh, 36. It's increased uh, the downside 580. It needs to get to at least a five. Ooh, 598 area. Uh, you're looking at the QQQ NDX 100 down four and a quarter at 499.21. Ah, it needs to be up in the uh, five, <laughs> the fives, not the not the fours, but the 50305 area, not at the 493s. Look at the IWM. This is actually holding quite well. It's down a dollar 44.229. Can it be independent of the overall market? I think by Monday it could, if it can survive. Looking at the gold, gold was up quite sharply earlier on. It was up 20 something. Yep, up 21 at 26.52. This is like a safe haven right now. It's coming back quite nicely. Looking at the dollar, dollar's also holding well. Dollar is up 57 cents at 106.75. It's those bonds. The bonds are down again half a point and crude oil. Whoa. Crude oil is uh, at 68.85, down 38 cents. So stay tuned. You've got uh, the repeat of uh, the um, of Tommy's show coming up. And of course, you've got Jacob at three o'clock to wrap us up. And then you've got NVIDIA earnings soon after the bell. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with